I say, it's a sinister bunch. They they look they look lethal. How big how big is Huffman right now? Right now, I believe I, I never is I never sized. Or no, you stayed yeah. junk, right? Yeah, I didn't get to do my growth, so I'm still small. I assume. Oh wait, no, you took. Did you take the recovery? No, you didn't take a recovery. I, I, there was some sort of burnout that I needed to get rid that's of. That's right. You so basically, you're able to so get to what whatever did. size you want to. You took the. Yeah. You you recovered your contact with the creatures of the sea, and you were mm -hmm. able to borrow whichever power you need. Now you kind of had to reestablish that contact, though, as an action. But since we're waiting for this um, Mexican standoff to erupt into something else, uh, I'm considering also taking a recovery because I wasted way too much okay. on nothing. Um, excellent. So, oh, I don't know. It was all very fun to draw. So, um, <laughs> I think that uh, yeah. I think that that's fine. Take a recovery, and you're all right. Um, uh, the, uh, 14 okay stench and slice are both going to do whatever sorry slice and hellbender are going to do whatever stench tells them to do um, and they are going to do it a little quicker hmm 13 and 13 yeah <clears throat> they're going to do it a little quicker than you um, and so he is going to tell them he says uh, you know get the ghost um, he actually speaks to, uh, yeah, he has to speak, he would speak in, in, in German, but he has to speak in English because of Hellbender. So he says, uh, uh, he says, you two, clear the way to the ghost. I'll be right there. And, uh, and so he, and, and is turning to, turning to come back toward Hobsman and, um, and in fact, is going to, uh, yeah, is going to move to attack you. Um, he has every intention of, yeah, every intention of. of He's referring to Huffman as the ghost. No, he is referring no. to Greyface as the ghost. He wants and wants the oh, other two yeah. to clear the path, which means yeah. kill a lot of people if necessary and yeah. get to yeah. him. Uh, so, so he's basically saying, you guys, you know, go do your job. I'll take care of this guy. So, uh, so they they are the ones who go first in this particular moment because they are they have held actions in the case of Slice and they go faster in the case of Hellbender. Um, and Hellbender basically says to you over his shoulder, "Come on now." To me. Yes. That, that mind control is still going, and it has its own endurance, not his, that it's burning to keep at that high level. It's not the most powerful level, but it is, you will have to, you know, fight it to do something else, to really want uh -huh. to do something else. So that's, but we are on, currently we are on two, correct. So it is now your turn. Are you going to obey it or are you going to not obey it? So if I'm obeying it, I can follow them into the fight with, with. Uh, uh, and you will do grave. so in the motions that he wants you to take, mm. and in the way that he wants you to operate. Or I can try to team up with Hafsmanan mm -hmm. and 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 as a team mm -hmm. destroy Stench, mm -hmm. that I feel is is kind of the leader here. That seems to be a much more, I mean, as a team, I don't think, I, I don't know about, but uh, I, he seems to be quite powerful, Stench. So I, I'm actually, rip, I'm trying to avoid coming with him and, and, okay. and teaming up with him. Right. You can actually do this, um, which takes a mental effort on your part and the problem is that of course you're going to have to uh keep bending yes keep fighting it we're going to keep the special effects on you uh you may run into some problems based on the mind control continuing to like ravage your mind as you as you move against it so anyway 
in that case, you are going to fly. What will you do? I'm I'm on the ground, oh, so I'm, right. I'm so I'm basically just uh, moving towards Stench and Hafsman, and so I'm I'm in in range. Mm -hmm. So I'm moving. Okay, so as you're moving, Stench moves first, and so I'm going to uh, give him his attack on Hafsmanen, um, which is. Um, did he's he's basically going to move up to you and he is going to uh uh just enter straight into plain old hand to hand combat with you um, uh and interestingly enough that is a potentially terrible roll let's see dexterity of 13 against dexterity 12 correct I have 12, yes. Right. He needs a 13 or less. Um, he does have martial attacks. However, he uh, martial punch does not, I think, have an offensive bonus, just a defensive one. So that means that I think you are going to be a little bit lucky here. Um Wow, that's true. All right, then. That's actually quite... Uh, I'm kind of pleased with myself. I didn't overpower Marshall. <laughs> um, and so that means that you... Uh, he misses you by one point. So basically what's going to happen is he's going to come up and he's going to, to mm. start just basically punching at you and you are actually able, maybe even with a little thought balloon of, oh, wow, you know, that guy can punch, you know, sort of a sort of thing. So, um, so he's looking, he's very fast on his feet. He's not stopping. It's not like he punches and then freezes yeah. and waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He punches. Yeah. You do manage to evade it. In for a penny, in for a pound. Right. Yep. So that's your, uh, that, that's what's happening. Uh, Cosmonaut is coming in on two, I believe. No. No. Are you I'm okay. I'm one right. three five. Oh, that's right. Okay, so yes. Uh no problem. We are actually on three. Sorry, my mistake. Yes, you're uh, on and three. So we are on three, and so therefore I want to see what uh uh cosmonaut does. Yes, I I in this case I I I want to hit him with my weak weak and ego. I don't see anything other thing that I might Okay, so you're my, going my, to you're going to have probably fly to him, right? Okay. Then so, the last, what, 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 on on the first was I was I I moved up to so I was in range the last time. Or okay. Is this, this? Okay, I think I'm getting a little tired and I'm not focusing on where everybody is at the uh, moment and when. Yeah. So give me. I think I'm sort of getting a little loopy. But I want to finish this. Yeah. So therefore, it's going to be a little tough. Roll a hit. I'll take your word for it. Roll a hit. Mm, nine. Oh, that's actually going to do it. You needed a nine, and the nine is what you got. Go ahead and roll your effect for the weakened ego. And this time, I, I don't want to roll. I rolled a lot of ones this time. So. But this time, uh, it's actually four. So Okay. Four. So, so, excellent. And I want you to... I want you to uh, pay endurance. So that's eight points and one for the movement that you did. And so then um, he's... Yeah, so basically you come up and you claw him. Um, and this time you're up against a much more normal human mind, to his yeah. credit at least in that <laughs> and um and so it's it's definitely going to you know blaze you basically free him from his ego-based cares in your famous way right yeah and I'm so, trying to right so you have managed to do that and um however there's a kind of an interesting point to this um 
oh my god, you are going to lose 15 endurance. I have 14. Well, then you are going to hit zero endurance. Well, is this because of the mind control or is this? No, this is because of the fact that when you touch him, the fantastic yeah. stink, almost as if metal were decaying, whatever that smell might be, which is truly horrific, um, just overwhelms you. I mean, you are you are retching and and drained of your energy. It's it's like a it's like you it's, it's like a sudden fit of That's physiological depression. I, I, it's like your body almost shuts down in horror of, of yeah. this stench. So, well, what does that mean? I'm I'm on, I I'm going. So now I'm on knockout. You you can function just fine. You're just not going to like it. No, but you can find I, that out later. Okay, so <laughs> that's uh, that's what happens to you, and so no. then that uh, so he took his punch and you came down and and got him. What, what happens to him? What's that? How, what what happens to him? With well, my well you are, you have clawed him and his his you have sucked down his ego. And you can even see him kind of blur and not quite figure out where he is. And then he kind of focuses. Um, to be technical, you have brought down his ego substantially by four, but you have not quite hit the point where you had taken. Um, yeah, because I face. put a lot of extra exactly. endurance. No, you pushed it that time. Oh. This time you didn't push it. But he is definitely affected. Um, to be blunt, he's affected a lot more than Slice was mainly because she was only partly there. And um, and so he's been, you know, strongly affected. And if you hit him again, he probably would lose his volition, lose his will to do things. Mm. Right. Uh, so um, and also point I might point out, uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and, uh, well, let's see. Do you want to say anything or do anything at this? Or do you want to say anything? Uh, I'm, I keep repeating myself all the time, yeah. saying that people are, but but I, I I'm so I'm actually saying that. I tend to say <laughs> that's people, what you're saying. I, I'm saying I, I tend to say it, uh, I tell people that they're lost, but boy, you are really lost. <laughs> uh, you're or the wrong place. You have an agenda, and you are like you are much more confused than you realize. I think uh, you're going then, to like this because yeah. now your character concept, the rules are working for you. When you mm. say this, this is going to trigger your telepathy. Make your telepathy attack. Uh, remind me. Till, uh, Roll three dice. Yeah. Twelve. Okay. So, I, I um, am right? And this is important because his ego is actually pretty good, but you just drained it badly. So now mm. your attack is extremely successful. You see, yeah. you're draining the attack and then saying something you mean, yeah. and then the telepathy hits, and mm. now it's against a weakened ego, so it's much easier for the telepathy to get through. Now you roll um, your, no. four, now you roll your four. four dice of telepathy. This is this is a uh, cosmonauts combo that we are seeing. Yeah. Right. And that's uh, three. Okay. Unfortunately. Well, it could be better. But the uh, but the important point is that you uh, not only you know get a, a, a look at his surface thoughts, which are largely you have never encountered arrogance of this level before. No, 